the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion has uh, undertakes a very elaborate exercise of listing down various outcomes and parameters on which states compete. And uh, there is a ranking done. Uh, the great thing about that exercise is that the first year Gujarat came number one. Uh, but number second year, uh, Telangana, which was a very new state, and Andhra Pradesh beat Gujarat at it. But the excellent thing was that states like Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh uh, did some remarkable work and they unleashed a lot of changes. They came fourth and fifth. So our, our view was that if the eastern part of India uh, can improve, then uh, we are in for some good days as a country. So uh, this exercise, uh, which was started by Dr. Panagaria, really looks at uh, you know, an improved business regulatory environment uh, from an enterprise perspective. And uh, studies have shown very important linkages between the business regulatory environment, job creation, firm size distribution, and economic activity. Uh, this Niti Ayog, and I wanted to thank Rajiv Lal, the IDFC Institute Enterprise Survey, documents and analyzes actually the experiences of manufacturing firms on doing business in India. So the DIPP study, you know, many states say that they've done this, they've done this on the portal and they achieve a higher rank. But what, what, do, what do the firms think about it? I mean, is it uh, actually that easy? And uh, how far have they actually implemented issues on ground? So it's, it's uh, the uh, intended objective of the surveys for state government officials and others to see where their efforts are succeeding, where they need to enhance communication about the reforms, and they, whether they have undertaken, uh, you know, and identify areas for even further reforms. Because many states have done several things, but they're just not communicating. And we need to push the reforms even further. 